Good evening, everyone. Luis Romero coming to you live here in Patrick County, just uh, near the Floyd County line. And as you can see on the roadway, this one is completely covered. Widow Drive, again in Patrick County to be exact. And I'm going to be showing you a little bit. Of course, we have to travel some to be able to show you this. We can see, as you can see, I should say, completely covered here so this is why Patrick County schools will be closed you see roads like this that are completely covered and then we've of course rode all the way up route 58 from Henry County to Patrick County and a little into Floyd just to see what conditions look like before we brought you this uh, live coverage but again this is Whittle Drive in Patrick County you can see completely covered so I would always agree with the schools with uh, the call they make but this just kind of puts it into a different perspective especially for those viewers in Henry County we know that closer to the mountains as Patrick County is they're seeing a lot more accumulation of it Henry County the roads that I've rode on I didn't see any type of accumulation maybe the Bassett area had a little bit but for the most part again Franklin County and Patrick County have seen the most accumulation and, and it's closer to that, the mountains. I will say that on the way here on Route 58, as we were making our way to, to this area, it was quite nerve wracking because the visibility was very, very low on Route 58, especially on the work zone. So near the work, work area. So if you for some reason need to head out tomorrow and go to work or or you're coming to work and you're watching this before you actually do that just be make just be cautious and make sure that you give yourself plenty of time i know that some people will be asking about closures you can head on over to btw21.com we have them there as well as you can just scroll on our facebook page they are there as well but again this is willow drive in patrick county and i wanted to show you put it into a different perspective what what they're seeing here now again main roads obviously will have scrape have been scraped bdot is working throughout the night to make sure that those those main roads are clear i saw that they were you know also laying down some or pouring whatever you want to use terminology wise sand on the roadways so have to give a shout out to VDOT for keeping the roads the main roads completely passable still would give myself a lot of time to be able to drive through them the other thing let me go back because I keep going back and forth but let me go back and let you know that Franklin County, let me make sure, Franklin County would be on a, were they a two hour delay? You can go to the website. I, I just lost my thought on Franklin County, if they're two, two, two hour delay or if they're closed. Patrick County, of course, is closed. Martinsville and Henry County schools, they're on a two hour delay. Carlisle's on a two hour delay. And I want to give a shout out to our former weatherman, Dustin Staples. He now is a forecaster for a news station in North Carolina. Dustin Staples, a big shout out to my friend. He's been helping as always, as he always does. He's a great friend, but also he always, uh, you know, loves Patrick County. He, he loves Henry County and our area. So a big shout out to him for helping me keep you updated with the closings and delays since I've had to kind of work on regular job duties and then also had to come out and bring you coverage of, of the roads. Again, if you're just joining us live, we're on Widow Drive, Widow Drive in Patrick County. And I wanted to show you again what the roads look like. And this is to give you an idea of why roads are closed while we saw that at least on my way here to Patrick County, I saw that again, 58 was completely clear. It, you would think, okay, why would 
roads, schools would be closed. But when you get to back roads, maybe this one's not considered, you know, I'm not from Patrick County, but maybe this one's not considered a back road. But this, you can definitely tell that school buses would not be able to come through here. So that just was a, a way for me to be able to show you. And I think I'm going to go now onto the Blue Ridge Parkway to show you what it looks like. Of course, that one's a little more traveled. So we'll see what that, what the conditions are there. I'm not going to take the Maple Swamp Road, which we're approaching. I'm going to go to the Blue Ridge Parkway and try to give you a glimpse of that. And we may actually take a commercial break because when we talk about winter road coverage we have to thank our sponsors because they're the ones that allow us to be able to have the equipment to do it be able to pay me be able to bring you the coverage so we have to thank some of those and I'm just verbally thank them right now and then I'll take a quick commercial break while I regroup here since again this is not my neck of the woods but the Subaru, which is brought to you by Otto by Nelson, is doing a phenomenal job. And of course, with the good vehicle, you need to be able to have good tires. And Riverside Tire Service, as you saw their logo on the screen, is our other sponsor. We also have Boyce and Holland Veterinary Services is sponsoring this coverage. This is their neck of the wood. This is Patrick County. This is them. So if your pet needs some care after the snow is out, definitely make sure that you go by there. And speaking of pets, make sure that as we see temperatures are going to stay a little bit close to freezing or even below it, that you, sorry, listen to radio traffic as well in case something happens, you take your pets indoors. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelin in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services since January 1st, 1982. Celebrating 42 years of caring for your furry friends. In 2024, we're overjoyed to mark our 42nd anniversary in the veterinary business. A journey filled with countless wagging tails. We extend our heartfelt thanks to every pet parent who has chosen us over the years. Your loyalty and trust have been the cornerstones of our success. From adorable puppies and kittens to wise seniors, each furry friend has become a cherished part of our extended family. As we celebrate this significant anniversary, we eagerly look forward to many more years of serving our community and being a trusted partner in the health and happiness of your pets. Thank you for 42 positively wonderful years. Here's to many more tail wagon moments together at Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, Stewart, Virginia. Hi, Barry Nelson here, Nelson Kia Subaru, Pavement City. We've got some great pavements for you today. We've got a 2016 HRV, one owner, only $249 a month. $249 for a Honda HRV, great deal. We've got a 2017 Kia Nero hybrid. This baby will get 50 miles to a gallon and you're only paying $199 a month. How cheap can you be? We got a 2020 Insight, Honda Insight. This does get a little better. $329 a month. This baby gets 55 miles to a gallon. We got a 2021 Forte, only $259 a month. Get over 40 miles to a gallon. Somebody's telling me it might get snow. We got a 2019 Forester, it's only $329 a month. But the kicker on this one is, it's loaded. It's got all the options. Come see us at Nelson Kia Subaru where everybody knows cars cost less. Welcome back everybody. Luis Romero bringing you winter live coverage in Patrick County. This is near the Floyd County line. We're located on Blue Ridge Parkway. And you saw there, we're thanking our sponsors, including Riverside Tire Service, Autos by Nelson, 
and Boyce Hall and Veterinarian Services. Again, folks, I wanted to bring you to Patrick County because I never come here. And I did anticipate snow today in Henry County. And again, the, the accumulation just was not there. Schools in Henry County and Martinsville are on a two hour delay. And I would say that because while there was not a lot of accumulation, there may be some spots that don't get shade or don't get sun, I should say, that we don't even really see a lot of sun today. But there may be some patches of black ice that may be a concern. So that is why roads like that are not so heavily traveled is what I'm trying to say would cause the Martinsville and Henry County schools to be on a two hour delay. Now, when we talk about Patrick County, again, back on Blue Ridge Parkway, you can see that while there are tire tracks, it's still covered. And VDOT, again, is doing their best to be able to get out and work to make sure that the roads are, are, are passable and that they are able to be driven on. But for the most part, you're seeing, again, that everything is snow covered when we talk about back roads. So again, this is Blue Ridge Parkway. We're able to speed up a little more, a more since there's not so much accumulation as we saw on Whittle Drive just moments ago. Again, VDOT crews are out and I will tell you back that uh, I am a little nervous of going back home because on Route 58, specifically during the construction zone, visibility at the time that I was coming back was very, very low. The other thing that I that I know is that some roads were, were slick. So you have to be careful if you have to travel in this. We got a vehicle here. Looks like a tractor. Yep, it's Patrick County, folks. We got a tractor on the road. I will say another thing about riding in Patrick County is I did not see many vehicles on the hour drive here, I saw, I would say, about seven vehicles, to be fair. Seven vehicles, and then the rest were all VDOT trucks. So folks here tend to take it a little more serious and, and understand that, again, they're dealing with these roads that, if you're not careful, you could end up in a bad situation. And again, we're closer to the mountains, or we are in the mountain, I should say. So the possibility of you getting in an accident are a lot greater. But again, folks, Blue Ridge Parkway is where we're located now. Another thing that I will say is, and something that you probably have heard before, is that those bridges ice and or a lot worse first. And that is definitely the case. I was all confident driving on Route 58 here, and I was just driving at the at the posted speed, of course. And the Subaru kind of kind of wobbles a little bit. It 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 definitely hit me by surprise that the that bridge had some 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 ice on it. And this is again right near Stewart, so there's not a lot of accumulation in Stewart. We're in the Meadows of Dan area and we're seeing a lot more, as you can tell on the screen, uh, in comparison to those areas. So this storm, like all of them, or most of them, it was all about where you were located. And folks, I am listening to radio traffic in case something happens here in Patrick County. I know a uh, alert came out for an accident. I don't know any details on it for here in Patrick County. But if if we can make it there safely, we will. But I, I doubt it. But I am getting a little bit of, of radio traffic. Medical calls for Patrick County have come out since we've been here. Again, folks, Blue Ridge Parkway is where we're located and we're gonna drive it all the way to the intersection of Route 58, Jeb Stewart Highway. And obviously you've been able to tell that I'm driving slow. Again, this is, this is not my usual area, so I, I wanna be extremely cautious. Not that I'm not in Henry County, but 
here I want to make sure that I give myself plenty of time to be able to react understand that you don't want to slam on the brakes if you encounter another vehicle or if you believe that you're gonna not be able to control the vehicle and as always I have to put the disclaimer in there in case people think that I'm not driving the posted speed we drive all we, we follow all traffic laws and we drive at the at the speed and, and specifically during winter weather we drive under it I will be completely honest and again folks it was uh, quite nerve-wracking to be driving there in the work zone on route 58 one thing that you wouldn't think helped me was the the cones on the side of of the highway they helped a lot because during the time that I was coming there was a lot of there was a lot of fog and visibility was extremely low at that time so the cones on the side of the road helped contain me and help guide me I should say so one good thing out of out of the construction zone i will say i saw mostly pickup trucks that were riding down the near the lover lovers e air, lovers uh wow lovers leap area and folks let's see looks like we're gonna have to take yet another commercial break and then we will continue here on Blue Ridge Parkway in Patrick County not a lot that I've shown you but it is for the most part all of the roadways back roads I should say in Patrick County look like this we'll be right back stay tuned hi I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service at Riverside Tire Service we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services since January 1st, 1982. Celebrating 42 years of caring for your furry friends. In 2024, we're overjoyed to mark our 42nd anniversary in the veterinary business. A journey filled with countless wagging tails, we extend our heartfelt thanks to every pet parent who has chosen us over the years. Your loyalty and trust have been the cornerstones of our success. From adorable puppies and kittens to wise seniors, each furry friend has become a cherished part of our extended family. As we celebrate this significant anniversary, we eagerly look forward to many more years of serving our community and being a trusted partner in the health and happiness of your pets. Thank you for 42 positively wonderful years. Here's to many more tail wagon moments together at Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, Stewart, Virginia. Hi, Barry Nelson here, Nelson Kia Subaru. Payment City, we've got some great payments for you today. We've got a 2016 HRV, one owner, only $249 a month. $249 for a Honda HRV, great deal. We've got a 2017 Kia Nero Hybrid. This baby will get 50 miles to a gallon, and you're only paying $199 a month. How cheap can you be? We've got a 2020 Insight, Honda Insight. This does get a little better. 329 a month. This baby gets 55 miles to a gallon. We got a 2021 Forte, only 259 a month. Gets over 40 miles to a gallon. Somebody's telling me it might get snow. We got a 2019 Forester, only 329 a month. But the kicker on this one is it's loaded. It's got all the options. Come see us at Nelson Kia Subaru, where everybody knows cars cost less. Welcome back everybody for our last segment here in Patrick County. We continue to find ourselves in, on Blue Ridge Parkway and folks, I can tell you that the Subaru has done a great job of maintaining the road and 
if you want a good Subaru, if you want good tires, then of course I have to give a shout out to Autos by Nelson, Nelson Kia Subaru on Virginia Avenue in Henry County, the Bassett Forks area. And again, you want to make sure you have an all-wheel drive vehicle if you absolutely have to get out in this and go home or go to work. But you also want to make sure you have good tires. Good tires make the difference when you're dealing with stuff like this. The Riverside Tire there on Greensboro Road in Henry County near the Ridgeway area is the place to do it. So make sure you tell them that BTW sent them or you've seen their ad on BTW when you go by there. And again, folks, our friends at Boyce and Holland Veterinary Service is also a sponsor. I want to remind you that you should bring your pets indoors, specifically during during bad weather. So in case you need to get that checkup, get that rabies shot, get your animal, make sure it's it's well, your furry friend, your family member, however you know them, then definitely go by there on 58 here in Patrick County near Stewart. And again, tell them that Louise sent you. All right, what do we got? What would that be? That. Were we supposed to turn right there? Uh, probably. But we'll continue here on Blue Ridge. Hillsville. Pretty close by too. I guess I could speed up a little bit but we'll continue here i told you i was going to take you to 58 but i'm going to be going over 58 so we'll have to find our way back go back uh on 58 later on yeah i should have made that turn but it is all good we'll go near mabry's mill i believe so that should be fun as well but folks uh definitely the blue ridge parkway is uh, a lot more traveled but I would expect it to to be a little more we are I am speaking I'm picking up the speed a little more but now you with the high beams you can see a little more of the roadway here we're doing 25 in this 35 or at least that's what my my Subaru says I tilt the camera a little bit Mabry's Mill is a mile up the road here. And about five more minutes that I'll be with you and then we'll we'll end it. But folks, I, again, I told you I was going to take you to 58, but it's all all cleared up. So you wouldn't you wouldn't have anything. You wouldn't have anything to be able to see there. OK, yeah, we definitely need to slow down here because we are we're sliding here, folks. We're sliding. And that's why I'm trying to get back on these uh, tire, tire marks here. Oh, wow. We're sliding. I, I, as, as, as we get closer and closer again to Mabry's Mill, we see that there's, and hopefully you can see, you can see that there's a lot more accumulation here. And this is not the place that I would want to run off the road because you can see the only thing that I'm going to be hitting is going to be those trees. Uh, I've been hearing um, radio traffic. I know that this is not close to any of us, in, including Martinsville, Henry County, Patrick County, Franklin County. But I-81, we know that even during normal weather conditions, there's a lot of wrecks on there, a lot of accidents. Well, that's the same case. That's mainly what I've been hearing on the radio traffic for state police. And then for the other communities, thankfully, uh, they have been rather quiet. So that is definitely good news to be able to report to you all. Again, folks, this is Blue Ridge Parkway, where we're located, and coming up it, we were definitely sliding. I think I got a little too confident, sped up a little bit, and now we're taking it slow. 
we're doing 14 and a normal 35 according to the Subaru. The temperature of the Subaru says it's 34 right now. Could be off a little, a couple degrees. Again, folks, just a couple more, a couple more minutes here and then we're gonna go ahead and end our live coverage. Again, wanna thank you for making us your Martinsville, Henry County news leader. We're very proud of that statement. Only news station with a daily newscast. We work all the time, not just when it's convenient. And that shows today with the snow coverage that I'm bringing you. Go ahead. Want to thank also once more. I know you may get tired of it. Mabry's meal, folks. But we have to thank, of course, Boyce and Holland Veterinary Services. Riverside Tire and Autos by Nelson, folks. They're the ones that allow us to be able to come out here. We can pick up pick up the speed just a little bit. Less accumulation here because of the trees, but still very, very hazardous. So if you have to go to work later today, or if you have to go home, please, specifically if you live in Franklin and Patrick counties, be careful. Give yourself plenty of time. But folks, uh, that's gonna do it here. I'm gonna leave you just with uh, the, the the roadway noise. So again, folks, thank you so much. Make sure you're careful, and I hope everyone has a blessed night. We'll see you at the next one.